I've actually lost count of the amount of videos that I have done now. But um, we are moving on and we are nearly at the end of our blouse. It is already looking like a blouse. I have it on the wrong side here. Okay, so I've turned it to the wrong side because we are now going to be joining the edges, the side seams of the garment. Okay, so I already have one side pinned here and I'm going to show you how I'm going to pin the other side. Now, one little thing that I want to um, advise you on when you are doing this for exams complete one side of the of the seam the other side leave it until you are finished with the back and if you have time then go back to this one okay if not you can just work with what you have and i'll show you what i mean now make sure this cross seam that we have here the seam allowances are open you don't want it to fold over so make sure when you're stitching it doesn't get folded over at any point so i pin it down properly there you see i, I have pins on both ends of it so it don't get folded over my notches match here you see okay so i'm matching my notches too and i'm pinning all the way down to the end As I said, we are only going to do one side right now, okay? Because of the way they mark this exam, so long as you have one side in, you are okay, right? And you would not lose any marks. So that is why I'm saying we are going to only to, we are going to work only on one side first, and then the back. So we are saving some time by not attempting the other side right now so we're just going to be doing one side so i'm going to the machine and stitch my one side now another thing remember i told you to to press the um the hem of the sleeve this is it here but you notice i open it back out for stitching i'm opening it back out completely okay so the seams are still there so we would have that in memory there for when we want to turn that sleeve up later on okay so let me start stitching now and as usual back stitch and if you notice i am stitching over my pins i can do that so long as I stitch slowly, the machine will go right over the pins without any problems. The corners, you have to take a little time around the corners. That is something you'll have to perfect. And if you have problems with it, maybe you need to use a piece of plain fabric, just cut it in a curve and keep practicing on it so that you'll be able to get these corners properly when the time comes for you to do your exam. make sure and remove all your pins you don't want to end up cutting on your pins because you'll damage your scissor now as i said take a look you see the seam allowance is open here right it doesn't fall over but sometimes it, it gives you this it will fall over like this and then you stitch on it and it looks ugly right you can lose marks for that so you want to make sure that it is open like this okay so this is 
and again if you notice this is a curved seam so we need to do some clipping here to release that so that it can open out flat if you leave it like this it will always have a tension here you would not be able to open it flat so we're going to treat with the seam first of all we're going to give it a little clip here not right up to the stitching line leave about a one eighth of an inch away from the stitching line we can also trim this here now to make it look neater all right so you can trim your seam allowances a bit just like about a half inch away we go again until you get around that curve now look what would happen again you can now pull this open and lay it flat okay so that is what we want now we have to finish this edge they asked for you to finish this edge so to finish this edge we are going to use a zigzag stitch okay so we're going to be opening the seam we're going to be opening the seam here what we can do first of all is press the seam open and I am just going to finger press it here so that I can show you I don't want to waste too much time that we get the video too long so I'm just going to finger press it here for the time being just to get it open you can press it on your iron okay so I'm finger pressing it here get the seam open all right, so you see the seam is open here now and I can go to the machine just the seam alone just the edge of the seam alone we're going to put under the machine now and do a zigzag stitch so we got to select this zigzag on the machine and start if there are little extra threads like this fabric that I use here it's a little um it's raveling a bit so it's not the best fabric that I use it's just what I had available and make sure that you guys don't have a fabric that would ravel like that so I am just putting a stitch on the edge of this fabric right around to make sure that it doesn't ravel any further And you just continuously stitch over the cut areas it will it will continue to stitch you don't have to worry about the machine not stitching where there's an open space it will stitch properly so i reach at the end cut my threads oh, didn't want to cut this time let's cut it again so now i have a little zigzag stitch on the edge that will hold the edge in place so it wouldn't ravel any more than it has already raveled okay i'm doing that to the other side of the seam so this is me finishing my seam this is your seam finish okay and we are doing a zigzag seam finish you could have done a seam finish with the um serger too So now we have one edge finished later on if we have time we can come back and just trim the threads but leave that for now because remember time is of the essence when you're doing your exam so you want to do the things that would give you the marks later on you can always come back and trim it if you have time if not that would not be too much of a problem okay trim the, the threads the machine threads from the edge though if you have threads hanging out from the machine thread trim that this is your finished edge here now okay one side now we will attempt the back so next video is joining the back seam